Dave Nussbaum. Maybe we'll get some nice wet weather this weekend, Dave. Hopefully. We'll be a washout. Definitely going to be very hot out there this weekend. We'll have to still dodge some storms. Better chance of storms on Saturday versus Sunday. Right now, live look downtown. Cloudy sky, a few peaks of sunshine from our BJCC camera. Temperature is currently coming in 85 degrees out there, but that dew point very high at 77. So the heat index here in Birmingham is now 95 degrees. Uh, we're not the hottest spot, believe it or not. There's places much hotter than this around the area, so just be aware of that. We're also tracking some showers and thunderstorms over eastern part of the state, lower to Tallapoosa County as well. How about 90s though from Clanton to Moundville and back into Jasper with some sunshine fade in Tuscaloosa 88 versus 85 Asheville and Talladega and Anderson. Alex City all at 83 degrees. One lone shower here not too far away from the Fayetteville area to Blue Springs. This one's kind of dying out at this point. It's not really moving too much. And then here over parts of Clay County and parts of Chambers and Randolph counties, a few more showers and thunderstorms. The bigger ones have now moved into Georgia. Just uh, kind of watching them continue on that eastward track out there. Really not much else happening across central Alabama for the moment, but as we go out a little bit further, we are going to be watching another system moving on in. Still some power outages here, a couple hundred for each county uh, that are highlighted here from the storms earlier this morning. Now, fortunately, they have gone away as our one disturbance has moved off into part of Georgia. So there goes disturbance number one. Number two is though coming in Mississippi. This one to get here during the heating of the day could spark off a couple of showers and thunderstorms if the atmosphere can recover enough out there. And any storms that do develop could be on the strong to borderline severe side, mainly along and south of Interstate 20. There's a level one risk for some severe weather, damage and winds, hail, and that heavy rain threat still a potential for some of you out there. And you'll see here on future cast what I'm talking about. Not going to be a widespread event with this here as we go forward here through the afternoon, but we are going to continue watching again for some of these storms to build up across the area. There's the initial batch leaving the state pretty quiet here. It's about three o'clock. We start seeing a few develop that may continue here on into five o'clock this evening. So still watching for some of these to develop, but notice nothing like we had this morning or anything widespread. Most of that is out of here by seven o'clock tonight. Heading on into about 11 o'clock. Things are pretty quiet out there. If you're going out for a late night tonight, just a few clouds, but a really warm and humid weather. We'll get to about 90 degrees here in Birmingham. Some of you already in the 90s. Now we'd be a little bit warmer out there as a chance of rain decreases again after dinner time tonight. He didn't Next, about 105 here to 106 Alabaster, but 110 Jasper, Fay, Tuscaloosa, and Moundville. So we do have heat advisories today, but excessive heat warnings for those areas to the south of Birmingham tomorrow. Heat advisories to the north. Heat index where the uh, excessive heat warning is will be over 110 versus 105 and 110 in the advisory because air temperatures will be in the mid 90s. We'll have that 40% chance of those storms tomorrow, 30% chance as we head into Sunday. And you'll notice tomorrow morning we'll start off pretty quiet, but as we head to the afternoon, storms start popping up around 1 o'clock and see really moving through during the afternoon hours, especially of the eastern part of the state. Those will clear out by 7 o'clock. And then as we head into Sunday, fewer storms are expected. And some good news in the forecast, though, as we head into next week, we are talking about improving weather. While we'll be in the mid-90s Saturday and Sunday and Monday, look at that less humid air coming with a cold front on Tuesday. That'll be very welcome with lows back down in the 60s.